Hi lady, let's get started. So um, it is a new year and it is time to set those new year's resolutions or those new year's goals. And maybe you are like so many people where you just are stuck and you don't even know where to start, where to begin. How do you even set goals this year? Maybe you're tired from last year. Maybe you're just tired of setting goals. Um, so this video is to help you with five different categories that you can set goals in. You can set goals in all five of the categories, or maybe these categories will just help you springboard and set a vision board for yourself for the year or set those goals for the year. So number one, the category is body. So setting goals for your body. This could be around nutrition. This could be around exercise. This could be around walking or hiking. It could be around um, getting enough uh, hydration and drinking enough water. Uh, maybe it's around dieting. Maybe it's around nutrition and just eating better and eating better quality food for the year. But that is a great place where most people start is around setting goals for their body for the new year. Number two is your mind. So there's a variety of different ways where you can set goals for yourself. Maybe your goals to better your mind this year are to read more books or to read more of the Bible, or maybe it is to do more crossword puzzles, or you could even learn a second language, or maybe you're learning a third or fourth language. You could also maybe go back to college or take extra courses um, to further skills that you're interested in. So that is a great way of setting goals for your mind and expanding sort of your repertoire of skills and interests. The third goal <clears throat> or um, that you can set, <laughs> the third category that you can set is around spirit or whatever, whatever you want to call it, whether it's your soul, your spirit, your spirituality. Um, there are so many different ways that you can work to recenter yourself, whether that's through prayer, whether that's through meditation, more Bible reading, maybe it's getting together with girlfriends, or maybe it's getting together with a church groups. Um, you can also spend time, um, maybe hiking or walking is really good for your spirit as well. So you want to set goals around that. Um, but setting goals around sort of your spirituality and your spiritual health is so important as we go into the new year. So the fourth one is maybe a goal around family. So family is so important and whether that is your biological family or your friend family, um, there are different goals that you can set around how much time you spend with your family or maybe you're estranged from your family and you want to get reconnected with them. Maybe it's around setting boundaries and having healthy and appropriate um, ways that you learn to engage with your family because maybe they're too smothering or controlling and you need to have some of those boundaries to have a healthier relationship with them. Um, maybe it's learning more about your family and you want to do a whole search into your genealogy this year. So those are great ways where you can set goals for the new year around your family. And then finally, um, the last area where you could set some goals is around your work or professional life. So there's, again, so many different ways that you can expand your, your professional life or you can set goals around your professional life. So it could be that you're learning new skills. Maybe you're going back to school so that you can um, totally change your career. Maybe it's about picking up some extra shifts or doing some extra work so that you can maybe be considered for a promotion. Maybe it is finding more joy in work. And so you set goals around that. Uh, it could be as well, maybe you push yourself into a new category, or maybe you realize that you've been overextending yourself at work and you need to set goals around stepping back at work. That again is a wonderful area where you can set goals um, for the new year. So again, I hope you find this helpful. Um, these are just five simple categories where you can uh, easily set goals for the new year that can kind of put you in the right direction for 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful and happy new year, and I can't wait to see in the comments what some of your goals are and your resolutions are for this year. Have a wonderful day.